Our Father, we are thankful to you this morning. Thankful that you continually sustain us. And your life, Lord, continually functions in us and strengthens us and wakens us up. That though we stumble, you pick us up again and cause us not to lie in ruin and, and stay in the mud, but you pick us up daily. This morning we receive strength to rise again. We receive strength to look up. Isaiah found himself right in your presence and and you caused him to see his state. Yet, Lord, you you help him. Help us this morning. Help us this morning. Each and every one of us, we receive your help. We receive your help this morning. We receive your quickening grace this morning. Quicken us, Lord. And strengthen each and every one of us this morning. Wake us up, Lord. Wake us up, Lord. Be our help. We take your hands, Lord, and we step into day. The psalmist says that, and I'll rejoice in it because it's the day that you have made. Beloved, let's lay aside every weight. Let's lay aside every weight. This morning, open your mouth and say that I lay aside every weight. Every weight. I lay aside every weight. I lay aside every weight. I lay aside every weight and I take the hand of the Lord. Lay aside every weight and take his hand. Maybe a condemnation, but to receive of him help this morning and lay aside the condemnation. Maybe the weight of sin that's encircle you. You don't want to look, but you want to say that, Father, I look up this morning that your light will break through the darkness, that my heart will feel your warmth. The prodigal son said, and I will say unto him that I am not worthy to be called one of your servants. So you look up and say, Lord, I receive help from you this morning. If I have taken my eyes off you, I receive help this morning. That may I not stay in a fallen place, but Lord, I receive help from you this morning. I receive help. And as we sang the worship song, we want to give him thanks. We want to say, Lord, I give you thanks this morning for this indeed is a day you have made. I give you thanks. That is an opportunity to triumph and to win victory. You want to offer him thanks and say, Lord, I offer you thanks for your awesome goodness that you are good and always good and you remain good and you will be good. I offer you thanks. Your name be praised this morning. Your name be exalted. Yes, Lord. 
Thank you. Buddha Yamiya Sira Oya Sia Mayina Asuma Nivaku Father, thank you that each and every one of us we come bearing in our hands, Lord, thanksgiving for indeed this is your day that you have made. There is victory upon victory that awaits us. We we step out. We receive of you guidance and strength and wisdom and counsel and might and knowledge. And we receive of you boldness to stand and be able, O oh God, to execute that mandate that you have given. Thank you that this mandate you have given to each and every one of us. May we win victories today, Lord. Your name we praise forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> something briefly with us from Revelations. Revelations. Um, I'm sure you know that after the breaking of the seals, there's a trumpet. There's a seven seals and there's a seven trumpets. In Revelations 11, the seventh trumpet Revelations 11, verse 15. All right. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet. And the seventh angel sounded. There was great voices in the heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. He shall reign forever and ever. Let's go on. Sixteen says, And the four and twenty elders which sat before God, on their seats, fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And eighteen, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they shall be judged, that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, unto the saints, 
and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should have destroyed them which destroy the earth. We want to stop there and and quickly the the trumpet sounded and the and the statement there which great voices choruses in heaven declare was that the kingdoms of this world and wherever there is a kingdom we know that means there is a king and we know once there is a king there is a throne and once there is a throne we know that there is a scepter and again once there is a king and there is a throne there is a scepter we know that there are subjects there is no kingdom without subjects and on and on you will find out that that kingdom is established and it's not just one kingdom it says the kingdoms of this world so obviously tells us that there are various kingdoms first of all we can look at the human kingdom various human kingdoms and then we will look also in the realms of systems of this world and things that rule over them we'll look around us and we'll see um, religious kingdoms all around and how they are controlled and stuff like that there are there are societies and things where the name of god cannot be mentioned there are places that you would go to that completely Christ is not recognized. There are places and lives that God's influence and all is not recognized. But to God, it is important that He is enthroned in every heart, in every life, in every space, over every part of creation. In the, in the prayer format of prayer that the Lord um, taught his disciple um, and they pray, you will find him saying, when you pray, pray that our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. And there's a need for God's kingdom to be established in various places and and to cause men and women everywhere to experience it. So anywhere that God's will and God's influence is not being done, you realize that somebody else's will or his influence is being done. But the scripture says that as the trumpet is sounded and the voices declare that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ, and was the day of reckoning when God begins to reward all the people who have come to know him and to put their faith in him, small and great. It says that the nations were angry and their wrath had come. And, and he has come to the place where God's judgment is being brought to bear. You remember how Daniel also prophesied or, or, or saw his dream and, and spoke about an enduring kingdom that shall endure forever and ever. Now, the scripture will also say, And the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit on my right hand until I make all thy enemies your footstool. Now, what, what that tells us is that every territory ought to be taken and every place that God's influence must be, must be, now, the Lord will not stop until every part, everywhere that the influence and the will of God is not being done is achieved and fulfilled. Now, this morning, I just want to draw our mind onto these 
simple but important fact that there are areas in our life that clearly if God's will and influence is ruling, it won't be as it is. I know for myself that if God's will and influence is ruling in some parts of my life, the choices I make will not be the choices that I make now. It will be different. Which clearly just says to me that I'm not allowing the influence of God in some areas of my life and some parts of my life. You know, and, and, and that's where it starts from. But it should never be that we have reached a point where we are not willing to allow that the Lord and his Christ will not rule in some areas of our lives. There, 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 was, there was this, you know, thing somebody said some time ago when, when there was, there was a, a missing um, police um, rifle. And they were supposed to go looking in some parts of of Ashaiman. And and a couple of people said that the, that section of Ashaiman, no policeman is allowed there. I said to myself, if we have a place like that, where people have become so lawless that the law enforcing cannot reach there, then the law enforcing have lost their and in place. Now, the cry from heaven that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ is a cry of affirming the lordship of Jesus. I'd like us to just pray a couple of minutes If God's kingdom and God is king and is ruling and his will is being done, what kind of influence would it be in some areas of your life? I want you to just pause for a second. A second. Rule in my life, Lord Jesus. There are areas of our lives that we haven't surrendered unto Him. We want to start from there and say, rule in my life. It should not be for lack of faith, of trying, that rule in my life. The scripture says that the light shining and the darkness cannot comprehend it. The kingdoms of this world, it starts right from us. Rule in my life. Rule in my life. Rule in my life. Rule in my choices and in my decisions. That from where I have sunk, may I look up this morning and say, rule in my life. May your influence be felt in every part of my being. May the tenderness, Lord, that you show manifest in me and through me. Rule in my life. Rule in my life. You want to pray and, and, and begin to say that in my home, may there not be any part. May your, your home, may there be no part, no place that your God and his Christ does not rule. You want to say that everything else, any work of darkness, any influence in any part of your home, be overthrown this morning. You want to say that hear the chorus of heaven, that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of my God and of his Christ. Around me this morning, around me this morning, may God and his Christ rule. May there be an overthrow. May there be an overthrow. May there be an overthrow. May there be an overthrow this morning, beloved. May there be an overthrow that in your home, around you, in the lives around you, in the things 
you see and those that you do not see in your place of work and in the places you go around you, that which is seen and not seen, you want to say that by Christ Jesus, the chorus of heaven, the chorus of heaven be heard that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. You want to say, I stand as a herald, and I herald the chorus in the name of the Lord Jesus. I stand as a herald, and I herald the chorus of heaven, that the kingdoms of this world, you want to say, Liberty, Grace, Life, Chapel, Madurati, Senor, Keler, Wadiasete, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. May everything, Galibu, Zanioke, hear the chorus of heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the scriptures say, Mbadelura sete ke yondi zinimi ke ndazoni akele biyandeke. That there is a day of rewarding. Klemuse ten diribi kata. Mbade reki of soto ni kresite ne mionde lebiete. He said there is a day of rewarding. Because the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. The Lord comes forth to reward his own. Nerebi ondili bikata. Now somebody begin to declare this morning and say that whosoever and whatsoever, whatsoever entity, whatsoever kingdom, whatsoever implementers of decrees from whatsoever world to stop the reward of the Lord. May they bow in the name of Jesus that the reward of the Lord to his subjects and to his own the reward of the Lord is many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus he said the reward of the Lord is come. And the scripture says that and his wrath has come off. Somebody say, my king, manifest himself around me. Manifest himself over me. My king, his scepter be made manifest. The scripture said, if the scepter of the wicked remain upon the lot of the righteous forever, he said the righteous will stretch his hand into evil. Hey, Marabio no son telebianeke, your king garebianelebianeke, may he break every evil scepter, and may his scepter be outstretched this morning. And somebody said, your scepter be outstretched, that any other man's scepter, any other voice scepter, any other entity scepter be overthrown this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus, that the scepter of my God be outstretched this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, my rabbi on this day, Revelation later on the scripture say, Hallelujah, the Lord God omnipotent, he reigned. And somebody say, Hallelujah, the Lord God omnipotent, he reigns. He reigns in the name of the Lord Jesus. He reigns in your emotions. He reigns in your circumstances. He reigns in your mind. He reigns around you. He reigns in your life. He reigns all around. That every other influence is overthrown in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> the Lord bless you, beloved. And keep you. The Lord shine his face upon you. In everywhere, in every place, in every darkness. May his light shine. May he shine. The Lord lift his countenance upon you, beloved, and give you peace. May the soldiers of the kingdom be released on your behalf, beloved. May 
with that which is yours be recovered with speed for you. May every curse be lifted in the name of Jesus. A good horse in battle is who you are. May your strength be renewed this morning. May your strength be renewed this morning. May your strength be renewed this morning. The kingdoms of our God be made manifest in our lives because the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of His Christ. And all of us say Amen. 